Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, The Traveling Blossom Tarot, where adventure meets the tarot and growth is in the cards. So happy to have you here. If you're coming back, thank you so much. And I just want to say thank you for um, supporting my channel and encouraging my channel, encouraging me. I really, really appreciate it. Our growth is steady here and I am so, so proud, so, so happy. Thank you so much. Also, Virgo, I want to invite you to get in on the monthly tarot giveaway. All the details are over on the community tab, so check that out, as well as join me and the others on Mondays live on Facebook at 10 a.m. where there's a collective message and free card pulls for you. So without further ado, though, Virgo, let's jump into the cards and see what's going on now. If you are a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mercury, there might be something in the message here for you today. Keep in mind that timing is fluid and past, present, future happen simultaneously. And also only take what resonates and the rest have it behind. It's perfectly okay. I don't mind at all. All right. So here we go. Let's dive in. Thank you so much, spirit guides and angels, divine mother, father, ancestors, and loved ones. Highest energy for Virgo. Virgo. Virgo, I also want to apologize for the delay of your message. We had a passing in our family. My grandson's father passed away on April 3rd. It's been a very trying time. And I uh, just want to let you know that I am sorry for the delay. Uh, oh, Virgo, you got number 29, orgasm. This could be about your sexual evolution. Orgasm number 29 reduces to an 11. That is the soul path number. It's also a master number. So a mastery here. It says thrust your body, elevate your spirit, open the gates to your renewal. This is about tasting the sweetness of life, diving into your passions, your hopes, your dreams, um, diving into those sacred unions even. There's a lot of uh, relationships that are taking place right now with this Uranus um, Jupiter conjunction in Taurus. This is going to bring up love. This is going to bring up our relationship. So this could be about those sacred unions coming into play. Definite. Uh, it could be about sexual contracts that you have with someone because of the orgasm coming in. So this could be about your sexual contracts. You could actually, um, with that B, I'm getting a busy B. So you could actually be playing the field a little bit, Virgo, and that's okay. I'm perfectly okay with that. No judgment here. But you know, if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's okay. But the energy there is that this is a brand new um, moment. I feel like uh, with it being the number 11, it's something new. It's fresh. And it is regarding sex. It's regarding pleasure. Um, I'm hearing that song, Pleasure Principle. Pleasure Principle. <laughs> yeah, I'm no singer. But this is about your pleasures, about the things that um, bring you great pleasure. And it definitely could be about sex. So strengthening that sacral chakra. Um, meditating on orange. Dressing, decorating in orange, doing that kind of stuff. Sacral chakra energy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have the magician here at the heart so you're definitely manifesting something it's at the present moment what are you manifesting a new passionate love affair um a sexual union oh wow Okay, guys, look, Virgo, so I started to do your reading earlier and it was interrupted, but I brought up Lilith because Lilith is big right now, whether anybody wants to recognize her or not, absolutely love her. And, um, she's really big right now. She's, um, up in, up in the sky. Uh, I think she was at like 20 degrees, 19, 20 degrees, and she's opposing the sun right now and you know lilith is um hidden pleasures it's hidden desires it's the things that we deny ourselves it's the things that people you know the taboo the things that people you know look down upon us it's it's often um has something to do with sex as well so i feel like lilith energy here with you virgo i would see what's going on with lilith and is is she involved in this um conjunction between you know taurus uranus or taurus uranus 
Uranus and uh, Jupiter in Taurus, um, is she involved in, uh, you know, any of this stuff regarding Chiron, all of these things, uh, you know, because Chiron's there in Aries. It was conjunct the North Node last week, a few days ago. So there's all this energy cosmically playing out. And Lilith is right there in the circle of it all. So I would definitely check out what is Lilith doing in Virgo's chart. What's going on? Because I feel passion here. And I feel um, sensuality and sexual, you know, energy. Uh, um, strong sexual energy. This is beautiful. Uh, let's see the future. Okay. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. You may have, um, four of cups on the bottom here. You may have really, um, had some heartache and pains and stuff in love and, uh, you know, really, um, experienced a lot of dissatisfaction right with that four of cups there so i really feel like this is about you satisfying your needs satisfying your desires your wishes your hopes your dreams whatever it may be number 29 the orgasm thrust your body elevate your spirit open the gates to your renewal this is also about um spirit has been talking about uh the nutrients for your body taking care of your body getting up moving uh, dancing, doing things for your body, getting out there, walking, making sure you, that you get lots and lots and lots of water. Water is very, very important right now. Spirit keeps reiterating that. But number 29 reduces to an 11. That's a soul path energy. That is you working with the divine. That's you and the divine putting you on your path, um, directing you to your north node, right? This is your destiny. And this is you coming in and saying, okay, I'm ready to work with you. Let's do this. I'm ready for this. And this is you accepting some of those darker aspects of, your, of yourself too. With that Lilith energy, I really feel like Virgo is coming into an acceptance where Virgo is like, man, you know what? It takes both. It takes dark and it takes light. And, and I'm going to accept every aspect of me, the good, bad, and ugly. And you're coming into terms with that. Right here at the heart of the matter, you have the magician and it's being um, um, crossed by the high priestess. Now I want to get a little clarification on these um, because the magician is about manifesting. This is about manifesting the life that you desire too. This is you making things happen. You are like, you know what? The alchemist, you are making things happen. You are bringing things into your life, bringing things into fruition, bringing them into the 3D realm. And you're bringing them from the two uh, or the high priestess. You're bringing them from the, you know, the divine. You're bringing them from possibly even knowledge that you've brought over lifetimes. Everything is being activated, right? It's like an activation. This is uh, a knowledge of you don't really know, but you know, right? That's the, the energy there is uh, you don't really know, but you know, you don't know how you know, but you know, you just know, and you're manifesting things right out of um, space. That's what this really is. You manifesting things out of space. You making things happen from, from nowhere, right? Um, again, like I was saying, I do want to clarify the magician just so we can just see what are we manifesting here. What I see on the table is I see a lot of passion, a lot of love, a lot of desire. So um, feels like that's what you're manifesting. But I do want to clarify it for you. Clarify the magician, please. Clarify the magician. Okay, thank you. Boy, he's really lapping that up, isn't he, guys? <laughs> he's very much lapping it up. Yeah, definitely. You are manifesting something new, something freeing, something um, powerful, uh, passionate, something with longevity, though, something that you um, has the potential to grow, something that can blossom and grow, something you can build. This is passion. This is desire. Um, so you are, uh, manifesting desires that will continue to grow, that you can continue, continue to work with, with that King, King of Pentacles there, you know, he's very balanced, very, um, grounded, very secure. Then you have the queen of wands here, passion, magnetic, 
um, inspirational, you know, uh, then the page of wands is a uh, brand new action, new opportunity, useful, uh, inspiring, useful inspirations, you know, it's new, something exciting and new is what you're manifesting and you're manifesting something that is exciting and new that will last, that will go the long haul with you, that will continue to, to grow and to blossom. And where are you getting it? You're getting it right from nowhere. Like, you know, this is all brand new energy to us. So this is something that you've never maybe even had before, but you are manifesting it from the beyond, from uh, oh, the storm is coming uh, from the beyond for sure. This is divine. This is feminine energy too. And that right there uh, reinforces the orgasm. This is about you coming in. I really feel like you coming into your feminine powers, right? Your uh, feminine powers and being able to express them and express them freely and let them out and say, hey, you know, ooh, encouraging. It's so encouraging. It's like you want to shout it out. Um, that femininity. Okay. So, um, in the recent past, we have the queen of coins. So in the, in the recent past, you may have been very rigid, right? With the queen of coins. Now the queen of coins, she's very intuitive. She's very grounded, very, um, studious. You know, she, she knows a lot. She knows how to build stuff. She knows how to get things done. She's very resourceful, a bank of knowledge, right? But she's also kind of rigid. She can be kind of, you know, fearful, like, eh, you know, um, like, not too adventurous, we'll say, okay? Not knocking any of you queens of coins out there. But, you know, she can be a little bit rigid. So what I'm getting here is that you are coming from a place where you may have um, held yourself back. Maybe you were mature before time. Maybe you're too mature. You were always, you know, thinking about, well, I can't do that because that might happen or whatever. You know, you were just... You were being way, you know, rigid in your stance and, and maybe um, needed to let your hair down a little bit, right? Right? Not very, not very playful, not really, you know, letting yourself out there. So I feel like this is an experimentation even for you. At this point, you're experimenting with all these things that you are manifesting, all these desires. This is all hidden energies to you. They're unknown to you. These are brand new. You've never felt these kind of energies. So that's what I'm really getting there. And then over here with what is crowning you, we have the two of cups. So what is crowning you is um, love, equality. You want mutual respect. You want mutual, um, you know, you want reciprocity. So um, I feel like, you know, you're looking for love that's going to be reciprocal, but you're also looking for that perfect match, that sexual match, because it's, so, you know, you, you can have the emotions there, you can have the intellect there, but you also need that sexual chemistry, right? You really need that sexual chemistry. So what I really see here is, over, t you know, crowning you, you're looking for all of that. Um, but you're also looking for that sexual equality too. You know, you're, you're really looking for that. And down in your emotions, you're ready. You are ready to build. You're ready to go. You're ready. You're persistent. You're ready to keep moving. You're ready to, um, you know, go toward what you want. You're ready for success. You have the seven of coins right here, you're climbing the ladder, you know, you're building, you're growing, you're ready. It's like you, um, you know, you have the magician right here at the heart. So you're manifesting, right? The seven of pentacles is also manifesting. It's like you putting that energy into it. You're ready to put your all into this. You're ready. This could even be like Virgo and don't shoot the messenger, but this could even be like, you know, you're having these sexual, um, um, evolutions, et cetera. And, and you're, you're, you're playing with it, right? You're playing with it. You're playing with these desires. Maybe you go do phone sex or something like that, or, 
you know, or maybe you and your partner dream up this fantasy, the sexual fantasy, you do role playing, that kind of stuff, whatever it is, you're ready to experiment. And I really feel like it's, you're really ready to experiment with passions and desires and those kinds of things. And the Lilith stuff, you know, the stuff that's taboo that people don't want to talk about, like sex, <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> the sun is shining. The sun is shining on you here, Virgo. Okay. So, so, uh, over here in your external influences and in your external influences, you have the four coins. So this is you holding back again. I feel like you, you know, you are an earth energy. So you do have that earthy, you know, flow to you, uh, over here with the four of pentacles, I feel like you are holding back and it's because you're still trying to break free from this rigid stance, from this conformity, whatever it was that you, you know, maybe grew up in or whatever. And you're still trying to break free from that. Externally though, for coins, you also may be having some trouble with, uh, you know, resources or something. So yes, you could be thinking about possibly some core, some sort of, uh, uh, sex work or something like that, um, to fill the pocket and, and, you know, like, um, only me or is it only me? Oh, no, it's not only, only, only fans, something like that. You might be doing something like that and that's perfectly okay. Whatever you got to do, do you boo, do you. Um, but I definitely see here in the external influences with that four coins being there, that there's a need to bank some money. There's a need to hold back. There's a need to, um, possibly save here. Um, and, and you know, this, uh, in your hopes, dreams, and fears, you have the six of swords. So this could even be about why you're doing what you're doing. Maybe you're doing what you're doing. If you are doing any of the things, if you're resonating with this and do take it, how it fits for your life and don't, if it doesn't, it's okay. But what I see is, um, you may be doing the things you're doing so that you can move away from a, you know, an old way of living, an old lifestyle or, you know, um, an old security or, you know, maybe some security fell through that queen of coins. She's right here in the, uh, recent past. So maybe some resources fell through some insecurities or, you know, a foundation, a home, something like that fell through. And maybe you're needing to do this to get your way to somewhere else to calmer waters because the six of swords is right here in your hopes, dreams, and fears. So hopes, dreams, and fears suggest that you're wanting to move away from something. You're wanting to leave something behind. So maybe that's why you're doing it. Maybe that's why you're having this new birth, new burst of energy and actually manifesting, starting to manifest the life that you want because you know, this is something you're good at. It could be a passion, like you're an artistic thing. It doesn't have to involve sex. It could be like painting, poetry, singing, dance, whatever it is, but you're wanting to move away from something and go towards something new, something different, something better. You're leaving something behind. Um, in your, uh, your advice from spirit, we have the hangman in reverse. Um, so, uh, with the ace of wands. So I feel like, um, what spirit is saying is that you went through a time where you may have been very stuck, where you may have not felt, um, a lot of zest or compassion or empathy for, you know, yourself, um, possibly, but you're going to have some sort of breakthrough. You're going to have some sort of breakthrough that is going to direct you. Um, it's going to put you on the right path. And I feel like this is it. I feel like you've already had the breakthrough is what I really feel. And what I also feel like spirit is saying here, because it's in the advice. So I feel like spirit is saying that you're going to have moments in life where you're going to feel lesser. You're going to feel apathy. You're not going to feel so excited. You're not going to be, you know, everything isn't going to be so, um, um, zestful and, and free and, and it's going to be hard. You know, you're going to have those ups and downs and spirit just wants to remind you that even through the hard times, the sun will always shine. Everything will be okay. There's always a new direction, a new way you can go about getting to where you want to be. You're the manifester and co-creator of your life Virgo. Okay. So in the, um, potential outcome, 
you stepping into your power, you coming into some stability. You have the emperor here. The, um, so you coming into power, coming into stability, coming into yourself, coming into maybe building the foundation that you want. We'll clarify this a little bit. Building the foundation that you want, building the structure that you want, building the person that you want to be, however it plays out in your life. Maybe uh, building the career that you want to have, again, however it plays out in your life. But definitely here um, at the potential outcome, you are going to um, be someone who is recognized. The emperor, you know, is a person of authority. You're going to be someone who is recognized. You may, um, you know, be in the spotlight. You may hit the, you may, uh, you know, get stardom. I'm here in stardom. So, you know, maybe that's what you're trying to do. You're definitely going to build something. You're going to build, um, you are building yourself, man. Look at this. The emperor being clarified by the page of pentacles and the page, this is new energy, but the, you are at the start of building your empire. You are building yourself, your empire, your legacy, the, the life that you want to leave behind. That's what you're doing. And you're at the very, um, you're like at the very beginning because you've got this, um, you know, you're just now starting to manifest it. You're starting to feel and figure things out and see how things are. There's a still a lot that you don't know. And um, you're going to have that. You're going to be pulling stuff from the divine. The divine is going to be teaching you and working with you um, in the future. Because in the future, we have the moon. And everything behind the moon is hidden. This is dreams, um, intuition, illusions. But spirit, with it being here in the future, what I'm getting here is that you're going to continue to draw stuff from the divine. You're going to continue to manifest things from nowhere and bring it into this world. And it could be in relationship, um, in regard to uh, relationships and sex, relationships and passion, relationships and desires, those kinds of things, because collectively we are our hearts are being reopened you know and um, we are shifting we're all shifting and changing and with that change we have to have new ideas new perspectives new visions new, new dreams and i feel like virgo that's what you're going to be bringing here um you're going to continue to pull things from out of nowhere this is going to fulfill your dreams and desires too with the future being um right there with the moon this is saying that your dreams and desires are going to be fulfilled. That's what I really get with that um, combination of the Emperor Page Pentacles. You're building the life that you want. All of your hidden desires, your dreams, your wishes coming true, coming into fruition, into the 3D. Be clear in communications I'm getting. If you follow my channel, you know when the cards go quiet, there's something needing to be communicated. Um, and what I'm getting here is be clear in what you're communicating. Be clear in the manifestations. Be clear in whatever it is that, uh, you know, you're putting out there or bringing in. That's what I really get. Surprise. You may be surprised. So get ready. Get ready, Virgo. There's a surprise on the way. You may be surprised what develops out of this. Like you may be surprised what you build here. It may be a dream come true. Definitely a dream come true. So surprise. Let's get you. I believe in your own magic. Virgo. You are definitely tapped in right now to the divine Virgo is what I'm getting because they're showing me uh, this lady over here on this card, the surprise card. Uh, they're watching you. They're definitely connected is what I'm getting right here. See this lady here and then the light. Um, you got number 17 flower. Be honest with yourself. So be clear in what you're manifesting and be honest. Be honest about what it is that you want. If this is about your sexual desires or, uh, you know, preferences or any of that, be, be real, be honest with yourself. 
Number 17 reduces to an 8 more um, Leo energy. So you could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, that is also the number of the self. Expressing love. So this could be about how you even love yourself. You could be getting messages too. You could start getting messages um, that are very passion-filled, driven, passion-driven, you know, um, expressive. Expressing love. Today I noticed the things I appreciate about the people in my life. I take a moment to send them love and to wish them well. My love is infinite and feels great to express it. So I feel like spirit is saying, express your feelings. Be honest with yourself. If you have desires towards somebody, shoot them a message. Let them know. Let them know how you're feeling. You may just get a surprise. They may be feeling the same thing. You have that two of cups crowning you. This is definitely um, a time for you to come into a divine union. The energy is being set up for that. So definitely, Virgo, this could be your chance, okay? Let's get you some charms and conclude your reading. If you like the reading, you like me, anything about it, please hit those jazzy buttons down there. Hit the subscribe, the bell, all of that so you'll be notified when I upload new content. Let's see what we got. All right, Virgo, so you got the letter D as in dog. So the letter D could be significant for you. Maybe your name starts with a D or the person you're dealing with starts with a D. You got handmade. So you are definitely building this from your own hands. This is from scratch. This is definitely you building from scratch. You got handmade and this could be about you getting a handout, an opportunity, someone to help you with whatever it is you're building. You've also got the fairy. So I definitely feel that there is a need here to remain hopeful, faithful, and believe in your powers, believe in the magic. Fairies could be very significant for you right now. And last but not least, Virgo, you got the key. And this key has three little holes. So Empress energy could be dealing with a Taurus, um, but a key of opportunity. Keys could be significant. You might start finding them anywhere. And the number three could be significant for you as well is what I'm getting. All right, Virgo, until next time, take great care of yourself. And as always, may your love and kindness boomerang back to you. Bye-bye.